Hello everyone. In this video, I want to talk about uh, two of the major CRMs out there being HubSpot and Salesforce. And I specifically want to talk about how you could connect the two or sync data uh, or even migrate data from one CRM to the next. Um, so you may find that um, you like features on one of these platforms more than the other, or maybe one uh, part, one department is using uh, Salesforce, another department is using HubSpot, and you need to sync the uh, data between the two different CRMs. All right, so how would you go about doing that? First of all, um, you can always export data into CSV files and try to map things out, but that is quite cumbersome and not easy to do. Luckily, uh, HubSpot has a um, an extension here that you could use an application that allow you to migrate the data or sync data from one CRM to another. And so how could we find that? In the top right corner, you have a house icon. Click on that and you go to the app marketplace. And here we can search for Salesforce, right? Now I've already installed this. The installation uh, guide, as you can see in this image here, it's quite straightforward. Um, so I'm not going to go over how you're going to uh, connect the app. Um, just follow the steps and um, you know tick the right boxes, and 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 uh, it should be straightforward to uh, figure out. But what I want to do is show you once you've installed the application um, into your HubSpot and you've connected your Salesforce to your HubSpot. How would you be able to migrate that data over or even sync that data? First of all, um, let me go back uh, to the, the app. So I go to that house icon in the top right corner and I click on connected apps. You'll see I have uh, several different apps connected to this uh, demo instance. I click on Salesforce there and you can see um, we have a few different tabs. We have this sync health, but over here we have um, contacts, we have companies, we have deals, activities, um, and tickets. These are important objects in the system that we can uh, sync. So for example, um, we have uh, what these uh, two-way syncs here um, that's uh, automatically turned on. And what you can do is configure from Salesforce what you want synced over into HubSpot. Right um, now, you can see that this is actually a one way, right? So we have an arrow pointing from Salesforce over to HubSpot. Um, and same with all of these other things like deleting contacts, um, adjusting lifecycle stage, right? Um, so there are some limitations there if you want to migrate or sync data. Um, you also have some property mappings that we can add here. Um, I don't want to go over every single tab here uh, and everything that you could configure because this is going to be quite customized for your situation. But this is how you would start with migrating data or syncing data between the two platforms. Um, now, this isn't the uh, ending point here when, especially if you're going to do a migration. Um, we here at Set to Close have done several migrations. Um, from different CRM platforms and uh, using the native applications is a good uh, starting point if you want to move the data over. However, it's not the uh, only thing that you'll have to do. Another thing that you need to look for once you move data over is you'll have to understand where the leads or the users are flowing into the CRM that you that you want to move the data from. So in this case, if you're moving from Salesforce into HubSpot, you would want to understand where all of those uh, users are flowing into Salesforce. Do you have a um, your email connected to Salesforce? Do you have forms that are collecting data and adding that into Salesforce? Right? Do you have other systems that are connected to Salesforce that are um, populating data within Salesforce. And once you figure out all of the avenues in which 
those leads, those users, and that data is flowing into the CRM, then can you actually move everything over into the other CRM that you're trying to um, that you're trying to use? In this case, it would be HubSpot. So um, take a look at all of these different options that you have within uh, the native application first before trying to importing any Im import anything from a CSV file um, because this actually does cut your time down quite significantly with the uh, with the features that are available here um, on this application. So um, those are a few things to take into consideration if you're going to be moving from Salesforce into HubSpot or even just syncing the data between the two platforms. So I hope this quick video helped you out and um, stay tuned for more. Cheers. Thanks for watching and keep removing those revenue roadblocks. If you want more videos like this, follow our channel for fresh new content every day. Check out our RevOps playlist or how about this video chosen just for you. See you next time.